Okay, in this video, uh, we'll take a look at uh, this, um, some 3D graphing for uh, Black Scholes Greeks. And I make reference to a PDF file, which is available here in this hyperlink. And that opens up and we actually have a quite a nice um, a document here. Um, and it includes Python code for delta, gamma, vega, theta, and rho, and we phi. And uh, we have 3D graphing for delta. Um, the derivation of the Greeks, which includes uh, dividend uh, yield, and that's important uh, for the call and pot. And then we have code for uh, the delta, and we have code for gamma with 3D graphing, um, vega derivation, same for column put, derivation of uh, theta, and we have here graph. Python code, row, and phi, right? And the, uh, it follows uh, the graphs here. If you take a look here, the graphs here are uh, quite similar to the presentation in Espen Hogue's textbook as well. Um, if I just, um, remove a little bit of this. I think there is a website, there's more in there, um, and it looks very interesting. And we have different types of code, C++, and we have Python also. So um, we're taking a look, right? Uh, quite a nice little website, fixed income. Um, Python, let me see. Same, right? So it's an in interesting website. So let's go back then to the PDF file. And I'll come down to Delta for a moment and we'll just uh, copy and paste in. So um, I'll just do a copy and paste into a Google Colab and then we'll take a look at the code, how it might, uh, how you might um, run the implementation. So I'll pause and set that up. Okay, so I've copied over from the PDF document and in the first section, I maintained the same uh, indentation. And then I come down here, copied, um, if I run the first section, it looks fine, no issues. Uh, then when I run the second section here, um, I'm getting a few uh, issues. Again, I think it's uh, calculating to print. Did you mean print calculating? So let's just see what the issue could be. Um, print. Uh, line 21. Okay, so um, looks like uh, it's not automatically, we'll make some changes um, and see if that can be fixed up. Okay, so um, actually underneath so we could put in if here we put in open parentheses or brackets close same let's run again okay plot Greeks uh, same issue again and um, 
we need to open a bracket or parentheses and then close off. So run again. That is fine. Uh, figure plot. See what needs to be done. Okay, so just um, remove the spaces here and try again. Still an issue. Okay, I think the problem actually is here. Um, we should have figure sub title and um, it's uh, my feeling is it's the inverted commas. Right, and let's run. Okay, still an issue. Let's see what could be the source of that. Okay, so the problem is actually the next line. It's the um, invert commas. So let's just uh, put in the correct invert commas and run again. And Again, I think it's the inverted commas. So what I'm going to do is go down and change these inverted commas. And that might be simply because in translating from the bringing back, okay, so it's those commas here. Um, they were in the original um, document, but just need to put the in, changed inverted commas. So I'm, I'm going to do that with all these. It's, there's a few, as you can see, as you go down here, all these have the invert commas look off. So we, we need to change those. I'll pause here and make those changes. Okay, so I've made those changes in terms of the inverted commas and let's just run to see does it execute. And we have a few issues, options, import. Okay, so it's, I think there's uh, option analytics, option analytics, import BS Merton, so we can a simple way of taking care of that problem is we'll just um, put the pound sign in front, run again. Okay, and we get uh, our delta graph. And that's something quite similar then to what we would have observed with um, uh, Espen Hogue, right? Uh, and it's a nice way of looking at the graph uh, so 3D, if you go back into that's um, the smiles of the smile of Talis, uh, it's very nice. You have derivations and you have Python code. So it's I'll leave the link in the Vinegar Hill, and I'll also uh, include in a link uh, to Google Collaboratory. So if you double click here, you'll be able to go directly into. Uh, the um, the the uh, collab um, uh, Python notebook. Okay. Okay. So if you just double click here, uh, it should open up, right? So we have that there. If I get rid of this, come back again, run, and run again. Okay, so it looks, looks as if it's working.